Hi students and uh, today we are going to perform packet bed reactor experiment and where we are going to find out RTD status because you people could not able to come uh, today what we thought is to uh, do some sample run and how we are going to perform uh, the titration studies I am going to show you today with the help of our lab assistant okay and we are about to start uh, the particular experiment and uh, in this particular experiment uh, we are going to uh, start the things and uh, in the reservoir tank uh, I mean the water is there and now we are going to uh, start filling the overhead tank so that through the overhead tank and it comes to the packet bed reactor bottom from where once it got filled up and uh, uh, in this study state we are going to inject the tracer into it to do the titration study we have the um, things in place like NaOH 0.1 normal in the burette and we have the uh, conical flask to do the titrations and we have a uh, phenophthalene indicator uh, to do the acid based titration and here is the measuring cylinder where we are going to see how much amount of sample has been taken and uh, we have uh, HCl in place and the syringe here used to inject the tracer we are going to put around 5 ml of HCl into the system and during the process we are going to uh, put the gloves and to avoid um, I mean damage or to take precaution now Prashant is going to start the things sir can you please turn on the system the motor and uh, the things will get uh, Starter. Now we have to close this uh, valve so that the uh, overhead tank will get filled up and we can see the level indicator at the side but to see how much amount of uh, once there is level indicator. So now it, uh, we have to set the flow rate around uh, 10, we are going to 10 meter per hour. Around 10, we are keeping, keeping around, around 10. So now what happens is, uh, with that specified flow rate, the reactor will start getting filling up. You can see the meniscus of the liquid is rising. Let us wait for the reactor to get filled up. Now you can see the things are getting filled up. You can see the level of the meniscus is rising. As we can see the reactor is filled up with the packings which are called rasching rings. Now, now, can, now you can see the students the entire reactor got uh, filled up. And you can see the outlet from the top. Now we can see some flow is coming out. So let us wait for some time so that I will assume that reactor has reached steady state so that is why once it reaches steady state we are going to inject the tracer into it yeah students we have waited for five minutes and uh, we have checked the outlet flow rate and now i can measure consistent flow rate from the outlet that means uh, that means we have reached the steady state so once we feel that the reactor i mean the flow reached steady state what we are going to do is inject the tracer the tracer port you can see is there at the bottom now Prashanji is going to inject the HCL into it so now you can see the syringe now 5 ml of HCL is kept into the, in the syringe now he is going to open the port and inject the HCL and make sure the one precaution is make sure the inject, injection remained inside till the end of the experiment you have to put the things in and simply you need to once the injection is placed inject the things in the pulse okay now it is to keep the syringe there itself because if you try to remove the things it might spill out on your face so as a precaution you need to keep the syringe intact till the end of the experiment students now uh, uh, we are going to uh, start collecting the samples see how we are collecting the sample
students uh, nearly about 10 ml of sample is collected now we are going to titrate it see he is kept the sample in the conical flask he is going to add the two drops of phenolphthalein and uh, mix it properly and uh, what we are going to do is uh, we have to titrate against NOH see we have we take the initial ml uh, mm. and final ml now he is titrating see it is showing some pink nature see now you can see it is uh, turned to the colorless to pink now we have to see uh, how much amount of ml is consumed for this titration see i am taking the readings and initial uh, burette uh, the ml is 0.7 you can see uh, it 1. has started with the 1.1 1. 1 second it has started okay fine this is the uh, initial and final the difference between these two 1. is the amount of ml that is consumed by this titration how much sir 1.1 yeah so difference 1.1 ml sample of NOH is consumed so like this for the let's say this is after three minutes we have taken this let us see after some time uh, how much amount of ml is getting consumed okay sir. So now now the next thing starts at 1.8 see let us see how much amount of ml going to consume after let us say 10 minutes or so see we are going to uh, uh, take the uh, sample number two after 10 minutes we do the similar study now now we are doing the titration for this 10 ml also we are putting the indicator and now it is showing the colorless and let us do the titration Now you can see 2. Point see now 0. it is 2.2 the difference between 2.2 and 1.8 around 0. 0.4. 0. 0.4 ml you see now the concentration is getting dropped the difference you can see initially it has consumed 1.1 ml has been consumed and then after 10 minutes you can see the 0. 0.4 ml sample is getting consumed because as you can see uh, our, if you remember RTD studies the concentration curve versus time it looks like this maybe we have measured here or next sample maybe you are trying to measure here that's why you show the decreasing tendency okay we have uh, given sufficient amount of time now we are taking the third sample after maybe after you know half an hour also so let us see how much ml we are going to get now so okay let us see how much amount of ml is consumed for this titration okay see students uh, in the third sample also uh, after 30 minutes i can see uh, 0.4 ml is getting consumed that means uh, what we are seeing is it is having some tail okay maybe if you wait for the longer period of time maybe we can see the reduction in the peak okay see that means uh, the the sample after 10 minutes and 30 minutes is showing the same readings that means it has the tail okay uh, still the molecules are trying to come out of the reactor uh, students in the uh, for final reading after 45 minutes what i have observed in the 0.1 ml itself um, the titration was ended so that means it is giving some consistency that what we are actually seen it is we can see uh, the trend okay okay students right now we are done with the experiment 
and now what we are going to see is how to drain the things and uh, Prashant ji will show you that what needs to be done after the end of the experiment. So initially we have to turn the mains off okay so that uh, we will be on the safe side so there is no short circuiting kind of things drain the uh, overhead tank now everything comes towards the uh, reservoir tank and uh, the second thing we have to drain the things is a reactor and let's see the at the bottom uh, there is a wall given so once you open the wall uh, everything goes to the drain at the back uh, so once the draining is done you can see that things are getting drained so once the draining is done uh, simply need to remove the syringe from the injector port and uh, cap it with the wall